Hey, what's up, you guys? Joe Martin here, 750 Credit Score on Instagram, your favorite big brother, the Simplicity Genius. Today, I wanted to jump on here real quick. I'm not going to be on here too long, but I did want to jump on here and talk to you guys about staying ambitious and staying focused. If you see me keep looking over here, just know that I'm looking at some of the notes that I wrote down because I like to prepare and I like to plan anytime that I come live and anytime that I come on here to speak with you guys. I always like to prep and plan, okay? Now, stand ambitious and stand focused. Number one, start your day with a plan. Before you begin your day, take a few minutes to plan out what you want to accomplish. Write down your task and set priorities for what needs to be done first. This will help you stay focused and on track throughout the day. So make sure that you always write out your plans, write out your visions. Make sure you write it on paper. So as you can see, I always got me a notepad and a pen right next to me just because throughout the day, certain things come up and I want to make sure I write it down so that when I, you know, if I get if I get too busy or if I get distracted for anything, I got it wrote down so I can always revisit that thing. OK, now, number two. Set specific measurable goals, set specific and measurable goals instead of setting general goals like I want to be more productive, set specific and measurable goals such as I want to complete this project by the end of the day or I want to respond to all my emails by noon. Having specific and measurable goals will help you stay motivated on task, you know, so don't just be basic with the goals that you set. Like we all know that today we want to have a productive day. We know that, right? That's a given. So let's start writing down measurable goals, like things that we know that we must accomplish and things that we know that we must do. All right. Now, number three, eliminate distractions. All right. Eliminate distractions. Uh, distractions could be a big obstacle when trying to be productive. Identify the things that distract you and try to eliminate or minimize them as much as possible. This might include turning off your phone or closing unnecessary tabs on your computer, right? It ain't nothing wrong with when you when you working and when you focused, put this phone on, do not disturb, you know, because a lot of times we be working, we be focused on certain things, we'll end up picking up this phone scrolling on social media, looking at YouTube, and it totally throws our whole day off because we didn't spend countless amount of time on the phone. So try to eliminate distractions as much as possible, okay? Now, number four, take regular breaks. All right, it's okay to take breaks. Uh, while it's important to stay focused, taking regular breaks can actually help improve your productivity. OK, taking a short break every hour or so can help recharge and come back to your task with renewed energy and focus. So it ain't nothing wrong with taking breaks, you know, especially for people like us. Uh, most of most of the times I work from the from the house. So it's so many things in here that could get me distracted. Right. I could go downstairs and see something that that I meant to do last night or some things that I meant to do yesterday and end up doing that and totally lose my focus. So try to have tunnel vision whenever you building something or whenever you're trying to accomplish something or when I, whenever you are accomplishing something, try to have tunnel vision, you know, so put this phone on do not disturb. Uh, close unnecessary tabs like if you got a YouTube tab unless you like doing a, a course or you're doing some studying on YouTube close that tab try not to get distracted with what's going on in the world because it's easy for us to switch over to YouTube and start looking at some things like me for example I've been looking at uh, Jeffrey Williams young thug case and I jump on YouTube and been and got distracted and lost an hour and a half looking at this type of footage, you know, so try to eliminate distractions as much as possible. OK, uh, and take regular breaks. All right. Now, number five, prioritize self care. I'm going to say that one more time. Prioritize self care. Uh, taking care of yourself is essential to being able to stay ambitious and stay focused. Make sure to get enough sleep eat healthy and engage in physical activity. All right. Make sure you get enough sleep, right? Eat healthy and engage in physical activity. You know, if you work from home or if you work in an office or things like that, where you're sitting down most of the day, Hey man, get up, 
You know, get up, move around, do some jumping jacks, you know, stretch, you know, take a break, go outside, walk, walk a mile, come back, you know, whatever you have to do, eat healthy. That's very important. We don't want to be putting a bunch of junk food in our system because, you know, sugar decreases our energy, you know. So so like if you eating a whole bunch of sugar and, and it decreases the energy, a lot of times people think sugar gives us energy, which is possibly can, but sometimes when you put sugar in your body and you put unhealthy things in your body, it'll bog you down to the point where you can't even, you know, focus, all right? So now, number six, reflect on progress, okay? Reflect on progress, that's number six. Reflect on your progress and what's working for you and what's not, okay? Reflect on your progress and what's working for you and what's not. Use this insight to adjust goals and tasks accordingly, okay? So focus on the things that's working for you. Don't focus on the things that's not working for you because you're losing time, you're wasting time, and you're wasting energy focusing on the things that's not working for you. If you identify something that's not working for you, just go ahead and shift, you know, go ahead and shift from that thing and find a way to adjust and start focusing on the things that's working for you. If you see something that's working for you and it's sticking every time, keep sticking, you know, keep going, all right? And then last but not least, uh, reward your, your progress, okay? Reward your progress, okay? Set up small rewards for yourself. You know, um, when you accomplish something you set out to do, this will help you keep motivated and boost your morale, okay? So so set little rewards for yourself here and now. When you see that you had a, a big task or something major that you was working on, and when you accomplish that thing, you know, reward yourself you know reward yourself it's okay to reward yourself you know um get out the house if it's not too cold outside you know some people like cold weather some people don't you know right now it's pretty cold out here so uh but start doing some things that you enjoy doing you know it's okay to cut yourself off from the world you know so that you could focus on your self-care you could focus on rewarding yourself and you can start prioritizing certain things in your life, okay? Now, remember that making the best day takes time, effort, and patience, okay? It takes time, effort, patience, and practice, okay? Be patient with yourself. And know that there will be some days that will be harder than others. But with time and practice, you can learn to stay ambitious and stay focused. All right. So I just want to jump on here real quick. Drop that quick video. I hope you guys get some type of inspiration from it. Uh, if you need help with anything, hit the link below. Schedule a call with me. We, it's free to talk. You know, um, tell me some goals. Tell me some things that you're working on. Tell me some things that you want to accomplish. And let me show you some tools and resources that I have that could possibly help you get those things accomplished. Right now, we're running this New Year special, so if you have a goal to become a homeowner, uh, if you have a goal just to be in a better position, you might want to take advantage of this New Year special. This, this is something that's very rare, very limited. So with that being said, this your guy, Joe Martin, 750 credit score on Instagram, your favorite big brother, the Simplicity Genius, and I'll holler at y'all later. Peace.